Hello and welcome to day three of the 24 tags of Christmas. I'm going to be doing white pencil tags and I'm using a stamp set that I bought a little bit ago from Reverse Confetti with these beautiful lanterns in it. They also have some swags that you can put at the bottom of the lanterns. I won't be using them for this particular video though. I've made the stamps separately and I'm just going to cut strips out of them to make my tags but I thought what I'd do is color them both in one scene on a card. And what I've done is stamp the one on the right first and I stamp the one on the left second. And the, the little part that you can see through the first stamp, that, that one in the front, you can see a little bit of the one behind, was done with second generation stamping. So I got a little lighter of a line behind it. And I'm going to do this whole thing just in white. I'm going to start with white pencil. This is just a Prismacolor pencil. You can use any kind of white pencil you've got. And I'm even going to make my my little flames with a finer point up at the top. Just let that flick upward. And then for an accent to make the, the highlight of the white really pop, I'm using a white gel pen. So just using a little bit of the white pencil to put a highlight on one side of the candle and a little less highlight on the other side. And if you want to see these individually so you can really see the candles, Go over to my blog and you'll see still pictures of them separately since this one is partially hidden behind. For each one of them then, I'm going to put a little bit of something in the bottom. Almost as if these are snow globes, kind of. They needed something for the candle to sit on. So I've added a white area in there with the white pencil. And the white pencil doesn't end up being like solid bright white so I can add a little bit of white pen highlight on the left side so that it looks like there's some dimension to that. The lantern on the left has these little lines in the top and I used those as the start for where I could put some shading to make it look like a highlight. I guess it's not shading it's a highlight and I'm going to do a little bit of bounce light at the top. Bounce light means I'm leaving some room around the edges and even though it's reversed, normally that would be a lighter color on the outside. I'm just going to let my shading be to the interior of those lids just a little bit. And I wasn't really sure what to do with these sides because they technically wouldn't have very much light on them. They would have maybe a little bit of light shining from the candle outward. So I'm just going to put a few pencil strokes in there just in order to have something in, in those areas. But then I uh, move down to the bottoms of them. Oh, got to get that little piece in the back with just a bare hint so you can see through the lantern at the other, the other lantern. And now for the bottoms of them. On the left-hand side, I'm just going to put a little pencil in there. But on the right one, I can make almost a little lip around that bottom edge, which will give it a little bit more fanciness on the bottom side. And then for each one of these... On the place where the pencil was strongest and brightest, which means that's the, the biggest highlight, I'm adding just a little tiny bit of the white pen. doesn't have to be much, but it's enough to make it pop just a little bit more than the, the white pencil itself. And I'll add a little bit on the left and right on this bottom lip on the edge of the lantern. And so I proceeded through the stamps that I did in the very same way as I did on this. But one of the things that I decided to do was add some snow on the inside, which of course was an idea that came up when I started putting in some white snow at the bottom of each of the candles and made me think about making these look like they were almost snow globes. So for the card, I rounded the corners, popped the panel on a black card base and called her done. And then, of course, I had to add snow into each of my tags and that sort of thing as well. And I rounded the corners of those and punched a hole in them. So there's no tag die for this. Really easy to make, though. And a black tag with this beautiful white pencil drawing is going to really pop on a lot of different types of uh, wrapping paper. So when it's on your gifts, it's going to look pretty spectacular. All right, I will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a comment in order to win one of these tags. Leave one here on YouTube as well as one over on my blog. 
and I'll see you again tomorrow with another set of tags.